Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon, and thank you, Governor, for your bold leadership in putting forward this plan for preliminary investment um, to build Rhode Island back better. I have visited cities and towns and I have been speaking with the residents, uh, residents of the cities and towns, business leaders, and also um, elected officials. And the concerns that you outlined here, uh, their concern is exactly what you outlined in this plan here. Um, we have to invest in the workers and workforce development. We have to invest in affordable housing and <laughs> workforce housing. And we have to do it now. We have to make affordable uh, child care a priority. Just this morning, I was participating of a conversation with the new Chamber of Commerce in which the topic of the child care came up as an um, issue for workers to get back to work. So this is an area that we need to um, make sure that we are prioritizing. Also, um, as um, the indicator have shown that the women has been the slowest one to get back into the workforce due to the child care issues. So this is a, an area of high priority. Uh, many of these families have to choose between a paycheck or, or caring for their children, and that shouldn't be um, the case. We also have to make investment on the hardworking families, um, that, and we also have to invest in our state uh, climb climate resilience to secure our Rhode Island uh, for generations to come. Um, we also have a, this one, life, a one in a lifetime opportunity to make a real investment in our state future. So, Governor, I'm in complete agreement with you. And it is time, the time to act is right now. I look forward to working with you and my colleagues in the General Assembly to ensure and make sure that Rhode Island is uh, coming back in an equitable way. And also, I'm glad that you included um, in your presentation the importance to address the MBE and the 10% laws um, to make it a reality. Um, so thank you for um, your um, leadership in these areas. Um, in other areas that I would like to mention to um, all the community that is watching right now is that this weekend we're going to have a vaccination clinic going on. Actually, it's a vaccination event that's going to take place at PCTA. This is in combination with RIDE, um, the um, Commissioner of Education, Helen Infante Green, and the Governor's Office, Governor Dan McKee also will be there. We want to make sure that everyone who qualifies to get uh, the vaccine um, is able to get it, and we're going to have a vaccination celebration, and we're going to have giveaways. So make sure to come out for this event.